Hello and welcome back to HIP. So, we are kind of at peace for a little bit as we're waiting to actually get enough men to uh, attack the Pope. But as I unpause there, you have seen that we started the Crusade era, which means we've got holy orders. The Knights Templar. A new Christian military order has been founded by a small group of wealthy knights, the poor fellow soldiers of Christ and the Temple of Solomon, or the Knights Templar for short, have sworn to protect pilgrims traveling through the Holy Land. The Catholic Church fully endorses the order and will allow pious Catholic rulers to call on their aid, though they will only fight against heretics and infidels. Non nobis domine. The Knights of St. John. A decree has been issued confirming the formation of a new religious military order, the Knights of St. John. The Knights, who have already protected and cared for sick pilgrims in Jerusalem for some time now, have uh, the full weight of the Catholic Church behind them. Okay. Pro fide, pro ulitate, hominum. Is that all? I think there was only two when it starts, so we'll see. Yes, only two. Oh, we got here. Invites to plots. Who, who do you want to kill? You want to abduct the Pope? Sure. Uh, what about you? You would like to kill... No, I don't care about that one. I'm talking to Pope sounds neat, though. We're also hiding from some diseases, if I remember right. Although there are no diseases, so I don't know what we're hiding from. Open the gates. There we go. A young Artema has finished her education. This is my first daughter. She's a thrifty clerk. Let's marry her off. Now, ideally, I want to marry her off to someone in Sardinia. We get an alliance there. Let's see what we can do. But we get an alliance with the top level of Sardinia? Not so much. Not so much. Hmm. Okay, anybody strong below or... We got this guy over here. No, there's nobody we can really marry into there. Okay, let's have a look at our list of people we could marry her into. See what we can do with that. Uh, so we got the King of Aragon, which is not very big. That's an understatement. King of Hungary, um, which is a little bit falling apart. King of Castile. Castile is also not very big. Okay. Chief of Vatnema. Uh, I don't even know where that is. Hmm. Some other ones from further afield. Okay. Yeah. Not really who I'm looking for. Ideally, we want an ally in this bit. Although, the Byzantine Empire, if we get an ally in there, that could be good. No. Okay, nobody we're getting an ally with there. Don't need a small child in charge. What about the Holy Roman Empire? Can I get alliance at the top level there? Probably not, but it's worth having a look. And... Spouse. There we go. Also has spouse. Siblings. Spouse. And then they're... Yeah. Hmm. Not really going to work. Let's see who we got as options. And we maybe... Maybe we'll just matrilineally marry her. And increase the number of men that we have in our house. That's the wrong one. Uh, that's the one I meant to click. Yeah, let's, let's increase the number of men we have in our house. So let's uh, matrilineally marry her to... A prince of the Holy Roman Empire. Ooh. That sounds good. That's a lot of prestige. I, I don't really care how he's a prince. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so he is the sibling of the emperor. Oh, did I maybe not look at that properly? Oh, that's perfect. Uh, you want an alliance? He does want an alliance. Nice. Okay, we can potentially leverage him to attack uh, the Pope. Okay. The Vindeclare War for Independence. Allies will not join my side. Oh wait, is he accepted yet? He did accept, but he's not going to join my side. Okay, fair enough. We have even less men than we had before. What's happened to them? Uh, we're fully reinforced, so actually what I should do is I should move my marshal into my capital province. That'll help us a little bit. Move these men over here as well. Have a look at that. That should give us more men. Maybe it takes like a month or something like that. Yeah, there we go. There's more men in. So our capital now needs to be enforced. It must have been like a, a bonus running off or something like that. Okay. 
How many men does the pulp have now? Um, oh, new pulp. Um, 8.6, huh? There still is quite a lot down here. 2,500. Where's the rest? Hmm. Where, is, where are the rest of the Pope's men? We've got 2,500. We've got 500. So there's 3,000, but there's another 6,000 we just don't know about. Wait, was I looking at... No, no, I was looking in the right place. It might be here, potentially. Ah, there we go. There we go, there's the other army. Hmm. So they are all away. We can go up to 1,700. How many do we need to seize the capital? Garrison of 800? Or total of 900? Hmm. There's potential there. We've got 400. How much could we get from one mercenary? Uh, we could potentially get 6,000, although we wouldn't be able to afford them for very long. Hmm. Yeah, we could maybe get 2,000. Still not really enough, is it? No. Okay. We'll leave it a little bit. Uh, ple the peasants in Fondi are spending a lot of time on the road. Yeah, we'll get the prosperity increased. Prosperity. Um, oh, they're on boats, I see. Oh, interesting. So they're all the way over here. I want to attempt. I want to try it again. I think it's worth a shot. We have one thousand two hundred. We have another seven hundred. That's going to get us two thousand troops. We can get up to four thousand troops, and we can go to the capital. And we can siege it. That's probably our best bet. How much money does he have? No, actually, our best bet is to wait two months. Then all his higher troops disappear. There we go. He should lose all of his higher troops now. He gained money again, but he should lose it all again. Yeah. Then, then his higher troops should disappear. Yeah, there we go. That's our shot. A child needs an education. We'll give her a stewardship education. Perhaps they should have gone to war earlier, actually. We might have got the higher troops, but anyway. Doesn't matter. Declaring war in Rome. Why you thought no? The zealots won't have it? No. The malcontent won't have it. Oh, my chance is malcontent. Well, easy way of fixing that. New chancellor. Um, yeah, how about that guy? Right. How are we feeling about the war now? We're all for it. Independence. I think that's the right way to go. I think independence move into a different uh, group like Sardinia. A, big, a bigger pond. Yeah. Right. Declared our independence. We'll raise our troops. We'll also call our ally, who is going to join. Fantastic. Uh, I am going to hire mercenaries, even though we have the ally joining, just to keep us uh, float. And we'll merge up over here. Been excommunicated. Imagine he's also been excommunicated. Yes, he has. It's just an automatic when you declare war on the Pope thing. Or a job. Head to Rome. Make sure we have the right leaders. Who is going to be that guy? That guy. And I guess, yeah, this guy. Okay, it was right. Back in. We have enough to siege. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Lauren, again, the trait zealous. We are going to take this. We are also. We have some people nearby. We can ignore, but they will potentially come for us eventually. Range betrothal. You would like to marry my daughter. Yeah, I'm in. Sounds good. I don't see a negative. It's clear there are unkempt buffoons in the army of our liege. Oh, okay. Sure. Whatever. We'll keep sieging. Oh, I like that one. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. A visitor. You have received a visitor. A monk from the famous great abbey at Cluny. He tells you that monks spend much of their time days in devoted prayer. He always mentions the names of the most pious Christians in those prayers. You would demonstrate your immense piety by donating a large sum of money to Cluny Abbey. You would surely be among those uh, present in the monks' prayers. Damn, that isn't what I thought this one was. But that's fine. 
Uh, you know what? Sure, I will give... Mm, uh, I'll give him 100 gold. It might lead somewhere. That one usually means it's the start of, like, a quest line or something like that. Okay. My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Siege on the Pope went very well this time. And as she's growing older, I could see that Wazelina could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas. Don't know who she is, so whatever. All right, we've won. Why have we won? Yeah, we won a battle. Nice. We'll enforce our demands. We've won the War of Yatian Independence. And head over here. Expand. Now we're all alone in this uh, world. Okay. Let's start uh, working out who we want to be under. Now. I've said before, Sardinia seem like an obvious choice. They are, quite clearly, like our de jure league in terms of positioning. We could go bold. If we went Byzantines, married in, did a little bit of a eugenics program for a couple of years to get our leaders into a good position, we could eventually just inherit the Byzantine Empire. There's a way into that if we want to. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted by that route. Holy Roman Empire is another one. Um, a little bit further away. Yeah, the problem with anyone who isn't Sardinia is that we're going to have to be at peace for a very long time, which isn't necessarily bad. We could build up in peace, but I don't know. Oh, we also have to protect our crown focus, but probably not for very long. I like the idea of the Byzantines. I think there's a way forward, Byzantine-wise. Because it is elective, isn't it? Uh... Uh, where is it? I was looking for... Oh, wait. No, I don't want to look on that one. I want to look on this one. Oh, it's Primogenitor. I thought it was elective in the Byzantine Empire. Maybe it is in the main game. Maybe they changed it here. Maybe I'm not remembering things right. Oh, in which case, who cares? I'm going to Sardinia. Sardinia all the way. Hey, Mr. Weak Liege. I want to swear uh, fealty to you. Yeah, I know. It's weird, isn't it? Alright, no more crown focus, but that gets us into the bigger pond. And we can start acquiring things. So, uh, I need a new powerful, I need a new person who's good at um, diplomacy. Let's get, let's get one of those. So, we're looking for uh, a man who will join my court to within diplomatic range and who has a lot of diplomacy. So... Uh, and we kind of want him to like us. This guy would probably do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that seems good. Get him in. Nice. So we got a new person in court. Now make him... Wait, dislikes us now he's in our court. Why? Oh, because our personal diplomacy is bad, probably? We already excommunicated as well. We should fix that. Uh, how do I fix that? Lift X communication. He'll say no, but there is another way we can do it through here. Uh, we have to have the wealth. Okay, well, we can wait on that. I'm still going to put him in as the, our guy, and we're going to get him to fabricate claims on this one. Right. Seems fine. Now, I want to check how much our liege likes us. Surely they like us by quite a lot. No, they don't, weirdly. I thought they would like us for, you know, wearing fealty, but I guess not. Right, anyway, unpause. Uh, you'd like to assign guardians to my children because you'd like them to turn out to be Lombard, but I'm quite happy with them being Latin, so that's a no from me. Okay. Collect our cash, and we'll continue on. Oh, we could righteously imprison, but that went away. I think it's because I have auto-stop plots on. Um, I don't really want to declare on either of these ones. Well, this one's in Sardinia. Interesting. Although I think it's a ducal title, is it? Yeah, it's a ducal title, so we can't press it. Unfortunately. I mean, we could press it, but we're not going to because... Basically, if it's a ducal title and we press it, because we're a duke, um, he would just get the duke. He'd get the duchy. If, he w if it was a count level one, we could do things so that we can get it, but anyway. We'll accept the arranged marriage. That's our daughter married to the King of Hungary, and we'll definitely grab an alliance there if we can. Yes, fantastic. An ally with Hungary and the Holy Roman Empire is a good place to be. One thing we should probably try and do is get our dynasty to be in charge of the Holy Roman Empire. 
which is the one that's elective, obviously, uh, as you all know. Um, so actually, that's going to be more difficult. That's why he was happy to marry. That's why he was happy to marry in because it wasn't going to do anything. Selective. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so don't need to do anything there. We have a daughter named Asia. Not confusing at all. Uh, we will give her a uh, one of those. It's also our um, fourth, fifth daughter. So pretty good. Uh, I'd like. Oh, we need more money now. Uh, it must be equal to like the Pope's wealth or something like that. Uh, not interested in that one. Not interested in that one. Um, somebody would like me to join this faction. Oh yeah, we're in a new place. There's all these factions for different things. Sure, prosperity sounds good. Sounds absolutely fine. My wife isn't feeling well. She has uh, pneumonia. I was going to say the flu, but that one's much worse. And, yeah, we'll just stay at peace for a little bit. Oh, who's attacking? Uh, the Pisian Sardinian War for City of Marquet, Marquesico. And Unjustified Conquest of Luca. Okay. So we are being attacked internally a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I promised my wife I'd find a suitable ride for her when her mare had to be put down. Um, I don't know. Here, you can have this one. Fine, I want to repent. Need more money. The Fratitelli um, heresy appears to have appeared. Okay. Okay, one of my counties changed, actually. Interesting. Um, who was this one? Uh, hold Prosperity Faction Meeting. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's hold a meeting. Yeah, I like meeting. And then, uh, yeah, let's ask the Pope for repentance. Uh, one by one, lords and ladies of the faction assemble at my residence. It's quite clear the prevailing mood is that fondness towards King Marcello and that things are going well in Sardinia. As faction leader, it's up to me to address them and determine the agenda for the meeting to come. Am I faction leader? When did that happen? I am. Okay. Uh, we can... Yeah, I'll strengthen my position. I decided that this meeting is best spent promoting my interests. Most important ally, myself, how will I proceed? I'll ask them all for membership dues. Oh, fantastic. We only have to pay 200 gold to be let off. Sure, I'll pay you 200 gold. One by one, the assembled lords raised their votes to vote on the payment of membership dues to strengthen the faction. All votes were in, and I gained 20 gold. Nice. We're almost back to positive. We're back to positive. It's good. Right. Uh, no. No education stuff for you. Don't care about you whatsoever. We have a new pope. Okay. Well, I'm no longer excommunicated, so people will like me more. It's kind of my goal. Anything else we need to do? Probably not. I think most of the stuff that we have is probably going to carry you over here pretty nicely. Okay. Just want that lame. Everyone knows I'm a big fat coward. Oh, that's not good. Um, I would quite like to take this land. If possible. Got no ally. I could just do an unjustified conquest. I have a your claim on it. Why am I fabricating claims on it? Oh, oh come on. That's just stupid. Alright, ah, this one as well. I think we could potentially attack. Seems reasonable, so I'll just stick a uh, claim onto that one. And then this one, we'll just acquire it. Yeah. It's your conquest. Get our men raised. And then uh, merge up in the center. That's fine. Uh, I wake up screaming in the middle of the night. Darkness scares me. I keep on wondering how I'll last of this campaign. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Merge up. Attack in here. Wait. Uh, kinsman. Oh, that's me. I don't want to lead. I'll have this guy lead. I'm going to set ourselves as don't lead. Yeah, there we go. Head over here. Beat the army. And we should be able to siege that down. Yep, nothing else that we need to do there. We'll just sit and uh, we'll let it siege down. Oh, we have a grandson named Adolfo. Nice. Why don't you have a struggle education? We want you to be ambitious in the Holy Roman Empire. Alright, so we need a court chaplain. New court chaplain's going to be Abel. His name's also going to be Abel. 
Uh, we can improve relations down here. And we need a new commander. New commander is going to be uh, my son in law, who has apparently come to stay. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, we'll continue sieging. Group of carpenters in town who want to make my uh, build time lower. Sure. Seems good. Arif is pregnant again. Another daughter coming right up. Uh, okay, we finished that siege. Next one's going, but I think we're going to replace this guy with our... We're going to replace them all, basically, with the new leaders. Uh, yep. And then we'll just attack in. Should be a nice, easy victory for us, which it is. Back over here. Beat that army, and another quick, easy victory for us. Our son is a novice fighter, that's good. Just or conscient, or yeah, get diligent. That's a much better one. Your Grace, I'm pleased to invite you to the coronation in uh, Tomogi. They'll officially be crowned as King of Hungary in the sight of the Lord, and your presence be most welcome. War detains me. Crusader Kings, there's renewed talk in the court of His Holiness Pope. Urbanus II of Christian Crusades to the Holy Land, many expecting His Holiness to issue a call for ar uh, call to arms for faithful any day now. Does fault? Yeah, obviously. Uh, I've never cared for this guy, but um, yeah, now we're his rival. Yeah, I never cared for him. Don't even know who he is. A sick daughter, Girodana. Okay. Unlikely, but there we go. Cup, uh, not cupbearer. We need a commander. Gonna be this guy. Right to continue our siege. I'm beating a rabid dog, and little cur Lorenzo runs up and starts hitting me with a stick. Oi, don't do that. We've become bitter rivals. Okay. This person, Lorna, got a very good uh, education despite it being us. We should probably just put in a court tutor and then we don't have to do all of these. Um, I don't know. Why don't you be the court tutor? That seems fine. Right. We are running out of money because, well, we keep having an army raised. So that's fine. Should be able to take this one. Um... We can kill everybody. We can destroy them, leave in peace, or we can imprison. Oh, imprison everybody, definitely. Why do we not have a hundred percent war score? What other land do you hold? Uh, he holds. Oh, he holds the county of Medina as well up there. Oh, all right then. We'll go get that as well. Uh, I expressed my views on the whole religion and God thing a bit too loud and got into trouble with a priest because of it. Okay, sure. And up here we have the we have the ticking uh, war score. Crusade for Jerusalem. His Holiness Pope Urbanus II has been swayed by cries for help from the Christian population in the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil Caliph Atta in order to secure Jerusalem from the clutches of the Mohadian infidels. God will grant pilgrims remission of sins in heaven. Whose fault? Ooh. During his visit, visit to my court, Chancellor of Sardinia, Mayor. Augustinu convinced me that somebody was nice. Sure. Uh, yeah, let's put some defenses from spies in our home. That's good. We'll seize this one down. 50 gold for a workshop. Sure. Sounds good to me. Don't see any problem with that. Uh, the Pope likes me more. Very nice. Very nice. We'll definitely imprison all of those people. And then we will offer peace and enforce our demands. Taking our one province. Now disband because we're in home territory. We have an extra province and we can start getting ourselves uh, some prisoner money. 70 gold seems good. Yep. And I, I could, oh, I, I was going to say I can just send out as many of those as I want. But I think I was sending them out to different people which is actually very nice. Kind of surprising. Okay. Get some money for that one. Uh, peasants are arming themselves. Got some more money and some more money. It's okay. And we got some more money. 
Uh, there's little twin feathers all over the place when you enter the dining hall. You see a huge pelican standing on the table. And Spymaster Calallegro sees my steaming, fa steaming face. He tries to calm me down, introducing me to the new pelican guard. Okay, yeah, get rid of it. Uh, my rival has let me. It's give me some money. That's all right. A little bit more money as well. It's all very good. Nice. We're rich. And I think it's time to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.